Here we are inside a dairy farm in Israel here. Um, here are all the mother cows here and here looks like um, it's like an identity number. It's just slavery, isn't it? Just slavery. As you can see the they've gone they've suffered trauma. They're, they're just young. The youngsters. These ones behind us are the the female calves. They'll be raised so that they can have their milk taken from them as well. Have their children taken from them. Enslaved for their milk. These ones on this side. The ones on this side are the dairy mothers, they've already already producing milk and horrible. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. So here's on, the, on her backside here, there's two lumps. It looks like some kind of infection or maybe filled with uh, pus or something horrible. Look at her udder, how big and Look at it, so much, they, they, they produce so much milk, more milk than they, they do in nature. Hey beautiful. Hello. As you can see these animals, they're living in their own feces and urine, they're standing around and it, it, it stinks in here, it stinks. So these conditions are quite common for dairy cows. The poor souls have been separated from their families and made to um, give us a product basically, enslaved. And what would you say to people who are still consuming these products who say like like dairy and eggs are okay, they're not as bad as meat and what would you say to them? It's, very, it's not funny but all the time I, I keep reminding myself because everyone can, can be very, uh, you know, relate yeah. to slaughter yeah. but they don't relate to all the suffer from two years, you understand, yeah. in the eggs industry yeah. and in the milk. It's uh, suffer for years. They suffer for it. It's not like the meat industry. Yeah. That you know, 40 days, one year, and that's it. Yeah. Here it's going to be five years. Yeah. For chickens, it's going to be two years. Yeah. It's a very hard condition. Yeah. And I have to tell you something. You should all the time. You don't have to compare them to a human being. No. Just compare them to your dog. Wow. And yeah. that's it. Yeah. And if you compare all these animals to your dogs, yeah. you should know it's not right. And yeah. that's it. These ones are pregnant here. Look at her bones. Look at her. Their bones are protruding. Yes. To bring animal to this condition, wow. It's just to starve them. It's to suffering. Milk, yeah. And to milk them all the time. The calcium is going out of their bones. Oh, wow. Yes, I didn't know that. Wow. There is one activist of our own that is, uh, he was the farmer. Yeah. And uh, he told me about it. So they're leaching nutrition out of their bodies. And they they look, that's why they look so starved and... So the reason they don't have horns is because they get seared off with hot heat? They, they don't have horns for two reasons. One is because of this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. oh. The farmers, they don't want, they, they will hurt one another. Yeah. It's the product, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't want to hurt the product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not because they care about their animal, because they care about their money. This is it. Yeah. This is the only reason. Oh, she's suffering. Wow. What are these tags? Are they electronic tags? Yes. So Tal was saying that the, the, these electronic tags on the animals tell them um, when they've been milked and how much milk they're producing. Yes. And if they don't produce enough, what happens to them? If they see their amount is getting, you know, less. less, so they just get them to the slaughterhouse. Yes. And I noticed there's no males around here. Where are all the males? They want to eat. They want to. If you want to drink the milk, all the males will get killed. So, and all these, all these cows, they all go to the meat industry. No one survives. No one gets out of here alive. Yeah. A lot of people say to me, I'm a vegetarian. It's good enough for.
for me. Yeah. And then I, ha I have to tell them the truth. It's not good enough to the world and it's not good enough for them. Yeah. Look at that. They're living in their own sh Living in their own sh here. The only time the cows get violent is when they're taking her baby away from her. Yeah. And you can ask all the farmers and they will tell you yeah. that the first time, the second time, even the third time, she's fighting. Yeah. She wants her baby. But after that, she doesn't even fight. She stops fighting. She stops fighting. And this is the story of the sad Look at the milks coming out here. I heard they produce 12 times more milk than they've been genetically modified. Is that true? That they, they produce ten more? Times. 10 times. Yes. 10 times more milk than they would naturally produce. Look at her spinal cord. And that's the thing, they're so innocent, yeah? Yes. They're innocent, innocent beings. So what Tal's holding up there is the um, glove from where they artificially inseminate the cows, they forcibly impregnate them. Oh, that's the straw. Okay. Antibiotics? Medication? So that's the medication they give to the cows, antibiotics. I want to see the water. Wow. It's also a complaint to the agriculture. The disgusting water they're giving these cows. They don't care. They don't care, eh? Oh, this gets okay. It's okay. Hey. These are the bobby calves. Look at this little baby here. Okay, so this is where I want to leave the video, out the front here, these are where the bobby calves are separated. These calves here will be killed for veal. So this is a reality of the dairy industry. No mother should ever have their child separated from them. That's, this is probably the, the most horrific part of the, the whole industry. Um, sometimes these calves are killed on their first day of life. They're, they're just hit with a sledgehammer on their head and that is humane dairy standard. But otherwise they're grown for a little while, kept in these cages um, away from their mothers. The mothers are only you know, a stone's throw away from them. So this is just the reality of drinking milk, eating cheese, eating chocolate. Luckily we have vegan versions of all these dairy products and this senseless violence and suffering and kidnap doesn't have to happen. So something for everyone out there who's a non-vegan to think about. They're pining out for their babies, eh?